Hi, so my name is Klaus Ibsen. I just want to show you a little Camel Quarkus example. Um, it's the HTTP log you can find on GitHub, as shown here on the screen. So what I've done is to go to Quarkus website, and there is the start coding. And I have already pre-selected which extensions I want to use. So for this example, we want to use health checks and metrics. So I included health and metrics, and then Camel Core and the log component from Camel, and of course the corresponding health and metrics component from Camel. So I already chose my extensions and click the blue button. It will you know, give me a zip file with the uh, product. So I already did this, and I have loaded this product inside the um, uh, visual code here and you'll get um, a rest service from Quarkus so this is not camel it's just a standard rest uh, slash hello you can get a hello response and then I added a camel route it uses the platform HTTP component from camel so it integrates with the HTTP server from Quarkus so slash camel slash hello and then we says camel runs on uh, the host name and then we send that to a log component uh, where we can use some of the options now in, in um, Visual Code I can run this uh, let me see where is this one so I'm actually using the terminal down here um, so if you go to the readme file we have instructions how to uh, run this um, so with Quarkus, the idea is to you can run it in uh, with the tools, uh, Maven plugin uh, in dev mode, uh, development mode, and that allows you to do coding as you go and hot the uh, reload and so on. So for example, if we go to a web browser on localhost 8080 slash hello, we get the hello response. No surprise here. But if I go to the source code and change the source here to say bye instead uh, save the file I can go to the web browser and hit refresh and I get the immediately response I can also go to the camera route slash camel slash hello slash camel slash hello oops yes and here it is Uh, that's the hot reload that can mess up something, um, but it works now. So I can of course also say camel runs again on something and I refresh the browser. Camel runs again on, yeah, and so on. So, but this uh, video is not uh, so much about Quarkus, it's more about camels, so, uh, and what, or camel Quarkus. So what we're going to see now is that how we can um, run this without the tools from the uh, command, uh, Java editor. So I stop this one, I go to a uh, terminal. So I can say maven package. Now I will package this Java product as a single jar, a fat jar if you want a runner. If so after this is complete, I can say Java jar there is a runner jar in the in the target directory it's a single fat jar and pay attention that this example starts up in 1.5 seconds and this is Java mode so I can call this one um, and also of course the, the other one with the buy works and I can I get health checks and metrics so if I go to the health I can see, oh, it thinks it's Portuguese, no. So you can see we get the camel liveness checks and the redness checks is already there and everything is up and running. And I can also hit the metrics. So here we get JVM metrics and camel metrics. Um, so if you see number of processed exchanges, here's the total count is 2.0, so that means that um, camel has been invoked two times so if you say camel hello and if I'd update this one this 2.0 would be 3 
Oh, there must have been a cast value. And now it says 3.0. Okay, so that's cool and all, but I also want to see... Uh, while this is JVM mode, uh, let's see how much memory it takes up using. So there's a script here in the exam ARSL. Um, like I say, camel. It takes about 240 megabytes. That's just standard JVM, you know, Java itself figuring out how much memory to use and it takes up a lot of memory by default in, in Java. So if I can also try to say the heap size is maximum 32 megabytes, that reduces the memory somewhat, 150 or so, but that's quite significant still from Java and this is Java 11. So, what I want to show you is how you can run this as a native compiled and using a lot less memory. But still, it's quite impressive that Camel Quarkus, everything starts up in one, one and one and a half seconds with all that, with HTTP uh, server metrics and health checks and everything. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is to build this as native compiled and the readme file has instruction how to do that so let's do as it says in clean package p native now that will use graal vm uh, to compile it and that takes time uh, often in minutes and um, uh, requires uh, a quite significant memory as well so it runs now um, for the video i will speed up the recording in this part, so just stay tuned. Oh, yeah, two and a half minutes or so for compiling. So now we have a, a, a runner jar, the red one, executable, native compile, 46 megabyte, it has everything. So I can run this one. So I can just say target runner jar. And not just the native compile is just runner. So this is running. Uh, when I start, it goes very quick. It's not running in JVM mode and all the kind of thing. It's native compile. And here it's running. As you can see, it starts in 32 milliseconds. And Camel is very, very fast to start. Uh, one milliseconds. Because we're able to build time optimize Camel uh, a lot. Uh, so essentially what happens is that our cam has already been warmed up uh, everything is kind of running so it only needs to start the route uh, so that's why it's so fast so this example should work like the other one so we can also get metrics for this one everything is zero because nothing has been executed um, and you can say hello Camel, oops, oh, it's Camel, hello. You get all my mistakes here. Yes, and we can go to a matrix, see how many times I clicked. Uh, eight times, apparently. Uh, health, okay, again, it thinks it's pod G's. Mm. So everything is good. Yep. Let's see how much memory that one that guy takes. Oh, so the eight megabytes. Mm. It's quite a still quite somewhat better, but I think it's still ten megabyte too much. Twenty. Kill it, and of course there's no memory. So one thing I want to show as well is to how we can quickly run many of these instances. So there's a script here, uh, run many, uh, that starts up 100 instance of this example running on port 8000 to 8100. Uh, and then we can play with that. So I say run many. Now I have 100 um, instance running and they take up 2.8 gigabytes of memory. And I can go, of course 8080 is still running. But I can say 83, uh, 48, uh, camel hello. So our uh, 
matrix. So this guy is three times 48 are killed at all invoked or let's say 47 47 hasn't been invoked by camel so it's true so now i have 100 instance running and um, let me just say camel hello okay so that's fast but now i can kill oops p kill camel now i terminate them now they're dead any of them now i'm going to be very quickly and start the whole instance again and, and go to my browser and refresh the page and I cannot do that fast enough. See? That's very really, really fast. Kill them. It's dead. Start them. It's running. So that's very fast. Okay, that what uh that's the what I wanted to show for today. And take a look at the Camel Quarkus project is very interesting. Bye bye.